Greetings, magical creatures, and welcome to the lair of the reclusive dragon. Today, I'm going to be starting my Halloween costume. I'm using this pattern, which is supposed to be fast and easy, to create a Black Widow spider dress. I have this sketch, which is basically just the dress. And I have done some brainstorming on how I'm going to make the spider legs and how to attach them, but I have not figured that out yet. So that's going to be an experimentation process. That's going to be a lot of fun to figure out how that happens. <laughs> I have waited until too late to get started on a Halloween costume and have five days not consecutive and not full days in which to do it from start to finish. So we'll see how that works out for me. Um, hopefully this will be happy Halloween, but if not, then happy November. I'm going to start out by making a mock-up of the dress. And that is because usually when I am making something from one of these patterns, it requires a lot of alterations. And I also do not have a large quantity of fabric, so I'm going to retreat into my fabric stash, which is mostly just old sheets, and I will return. So I found these haunted old bed sheets that are going to be absolutely perfect for a mock-up, and if I end up liking the dress, I can even dye these and have two dresses instead of one. So now I just have to get started, which involves my least favorite part of sewing from a pattern, which is to find the pieces I need. And cut them out before ironing the fabric and laying the fabric down and cutting the fabric out. So I'll see you after I handle all of that. Here are the cut out pieces for my mock-up. This is the front. These are the two side pieces. This is the back. I actually cut two because I thought that I was going to do a double layer of everything, but instead I'm going to just hem these because the actual dress is going to have bias binding and I'm not going to waste bias binding on the mock-up but I do want to be able to wear the mock-up so I am going to work on hemming it as best I can and therefore I added extra width here and I didn't really add extra width anywhere else so we'll see how that goes hopefully it'll be all right I finished the mock-up Okay, so to discuss, the top here was a little too wide for my shoulders, and so I think maybe taking in that seam a little bit. I'm going to divide the top along this horizontal dart line so that the top portion can be black and from here down on the inside can be red to create more of that hourglass shape. So it has that top of the hourglass there as opposed to the whole thing, maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, the lacing worked well. I'm gonna reinforce with a little bit of interfacing right here and right here under where the grommets are. The skirt, I'm going to put snaps so that it turns out like this and this, you have this folded outwards to create that hourglass shape because the skirt doesn't fall even with a crinoline under doesn't fall 
the way that it did on the pattern so that it fell outwards like this, um, it goes straight down. So that doesn't create the shape that I need. So I'm going to face this with some red to match the center and then put snaps so that it stays out in that position. So I'm ironing and my dog has put her head on my foot and now I can't move. day's progress which was not bad that is the front of the dress it's the division line looks pretty okay it's covered in threads right now as I had to remove the stitching I put some decorative stitching there but the thread kept breaking so it wouldn't stay and it also wasn't the right color so it didn't look great this is the back of the dress along with the skirt. I have it pinned together here. These seams I have not finished yet. So here, this seam, yes, there's dog fur everywhere, yes. So this seam is shorter, the seam I left longer here, and I'm going to fold that over, press it, hold it down, and stitch it here. A lot of the seams in this dress, because it's fast and easy, are not finished, which makes me kind of uneasy, but it is what it is, and it'll be okay. And the outside is bound with binding. I'm going to press that binding that I have cut there to bind the front of the dress here, where I've added these red panels.
one thing I really like about this dress is it was it was fast and easy once you get past cutting it out, which was also easy. It's just is is it really ever easy to cut out anything? No, not not in my opinion. I it's it's my least favorite part. Um, once I'm actually just sewing, like it's so nice. As long as you know I'm sewing and not seam ripping, which doesn't usually seem to be the case. Even though it's made for like a general size, it's really still so adjustable. And especially where I didn't do the button, I guess that's the difference. So where I didn't do the button, it's just going to be so much more adjustable, both in the front and in the back. All right, here's the skirt panel, the front panel. It's all still covered in fur. I've seen other people also say that there's not much of a point in lint rolling as you go with something like this because there's just fur everywhere and it's going to get covered in fur again immediately. So, all right, so a bit of the red came off of the grommets there. And so I'm going to touch that up with nail polish before I lace this up with my red ribbon. So yeah, so this is the dress. Yay! It was not a one day project. It was a two day project plus a little bit of extra time. Um, but then again, the second day was mostly seam ripping. Uh, I did this with red thread. It didn't quite match the red. Took that out. Did this with black X's which was part of my original sketch idea, but I wasn't sure if I would be able to translate it. And it, I wasn't able to, if I'd had red thread that was exactly this color, um, I put, I put black X's all along here. And so now I have lots of holes in the fabric. It's damaged from putting them on there, taking them out, putting them back on there realizing I didn't like them on there, taking them off again. Yesterday was mostly seam ripping, so today I had to finish up by adding the grommets and finishing the hem. I'm not sure if I'm loving this angle, but I really wanted my pumpkins in it, but I also want my buns to be in it. So these are our family of pumpkins. They don't have names, but this is the one that Chris did, and this is the one that I did. Um, it looks really good in the dark. This take the light away. It was raining the day after we carved them, so we hadn't put them out yet, and now I really like them inside, but we're going to put them out tonight. This lighting is bad. So now I have to figure out how I want to do my spider legs for my costume. I have four fewer appendages than is needed. However, I do not think that I'm going to use my arms and legs as spider legs. Um, I'm, I want them all to be kind of uniform. I'm thinking that I will make them out of black felt. I have several sketches that I have made in contemplation for how I think that I can do this. Um, but my actual idea, I just kind of sketched in the air the other night before I went to sleep. Um, so I'm not really sure if it's going to work. The idea that I'm going to try first is to make basically a huge felt spider. Um, maybe put wire in the legs. That would be nice if I have enough wire, but I'm not sure. Um, and put at least some dowels or some um, skewers or something um, so that I can hold the ends up and have them all be connected, ideally invisibly, but I'm not sure, or maybe everything connected with a huge spider web. I don't know, but my, theory is, is if I make these so that here's the top set of legs, here's the back, here's the top set of legs. And then I put that on sort of like a backpack with my arms behind the top set 
so that the top set goes out in front of my arms and then the rest dangle down. And then the back of the spider just be on my back and that's what's holding everything together. We'll see. So that's what I have in mind. Um, I really need to finish this tonight. It really should have been done days ago. I, I, I'm sorry I say that. It's true every time. Everything is always supposed to have been done days ago. But here we are. And I'm, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to, to, to experiment with the spider legs, even though I don't have enough time to really, really enjoy the whole experimentation. I'm still going to, I'm still going to enjoy it, but okay. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm rambling. So I'm going to get started on these spider legs and I, it's going to be dark while I'm working on them. So Hopefully I'll be able to document this appropriately. It's always dark when I'm working. Just so you know, always, even when it's daytime, it's dark. I, I love the darkness. I live in the darkness. It's a dark cave. I, I try to, I try to light things as much as I can for you, but I'm sorry. The, the lighting's not the best. So let's get started on these spider legs. Okay, so I thought that I had felt and I have like a very, very small amount. Um, I am I think I have some stored away, but I'm not sure if I can access it in time. Um, so this is what I have. So that's all I have that I can work with currently. So I have a couple of different ideas. I don't know how much wire I have. So I may be able to locate enough wire to, I have some black lining fabric, which is kind of shiny, which might be nice for legs, but then again, it doesn't match the dress. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm probably overthinking that um, for this project. Um, so I'm thinking like maybe if I could sew casings for the legs, might be ridiculous, but maybe if I could sew casings for the legs and stuff them, that would be pretty cool. Um, and if I could put wire inside of that, but I don't think I have enough wire, but it would be cool if I did. I don't know. We'll see. Regardless, I don't think that this is going to get finished tonight. It's not going to happen. All right. I located about three yards of 12 gauge aluminum wire and this 16 gauge soft brass wire that I've had since design class in college. So it's pretty old. This very wrinkly lining fabric divided up into strips of four and three quarter inches and 60, uh, well, four and three quarter inches wide and 60 inches long. It's doubled over right now. I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to cut these, cut these diagonally, sew and stuff. Right, 
So here are my strips for my legs. It occurred to me when I was almost done cutting them out that I cut out eight strips and divided them all in half and that's 16 and that's double the amount that I need. So I should have not divided them in half and just folded them and sewn them appropriately. But now I have double and so instead of folding each of these in half, and sewing down, so it tapers. I know you can't see because it's all in a pile for effect. So instead of sewing these in half and having them end at a point, I'm going to, well, not sewing them in half. That doesn't make sense. Folding them in half and sewing them. I'm going to pin them together as such and then have two seams in each leg now instead of just one. This looks like a shredded up trash bag. Okay, so I am pleasantly surprised with this leg. Little sniffer. Okay. I'm pleasantly surprised with the leg. I have I sewed both sides together and flipped it, which was a little challenging because of the point at the end. Um, I took 27 inches of wire and bent both ends together and wrapped some duct tape around them to keep them from protruding through the fabric. So the wire goes from here to about right here. So I can bend it as I want it. The stuffing is a little lumpy right now, but I'm hoping to smooth that out a bit. And also this is my first leg and I don't have a lot of experience with stuffing things. I cut up an old pillow to use for the stuffing. So here we go. Okay, so trying to gather my thoughts. Um, two whole days have passed since I said I need to finish this that day. Okay, so. Pin these all together just to see what that's like. Now I need to take them apart. Before I take them apart, okay, I need to measure all of the legs to see if they're about the same length. I've made the top legs intentionally longer. Okay, then I need to stuff them all equally because some of them are much less stuffed than others. Okay, then I need to sew off where the stuffing is so that it does not shift upwards. That might not even be necessary. I might not do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm only going to do that if I stuff them all the way up to where the fabric is going to be laying over here. Okay, so this is my circle. I just made it by folding a piece of paper up many, many times until it was small and then cutting it and opening it up. Okay, now I'm going to do that and then I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna do that and then figure it out because I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do. Okay, so I made this a little smaller. Um, that's now eight and a half inches about in diameter. I have marked these where I want them to be on the edge of this circle, which will be fabric. Um, so that's where I want them to be on the edge now, rather than all connected in the center. So that it gives them extra length outwards, okay? This circle is where this circle was before I decided to move these out. So disregard that circle. And then I have these pins marked. So this is where the seam will be, where it connects to the center circle. And six and a half inches out is where I need the padding to be on all the pieces. Now, since this is a prototype, I have absolutely no idea if the padding is gonna be in the right place. So this is one that I feel like is appropriate. And up here for the tops, it's much further out because it's going to lay over the shoulders so that it kind of holds it onto the body in a way because it's it's not really a cape or anything. It's just a bunch of legs and a central, central circle. But anyway, 
if the stuffing would end up being better brought all the way to this central piece, then I will, I'm going to sew this so that it won't be too difficult to take it apart, hopefully, so that I can add more stuffing to it later. It definitely won't be in there before my video goes up, but I'll know whether or not I need to add it. Okay, so what I've done here is I've changed the shape from a circle to this shape that looks a lot like the filter that goes in my vacuum cleaner which is at its widest point across eight and a half inches. And then this is about three inches and I ended up cut it, cutting about a quarter of an inch into this top part. And this was about four inches. And from top to bottom measures seven and three quarters inches. Okay, so I cut this out of felt because you don't have to hem felt. And that's just because that's what I had and that's what I was planning on using anyway. So I cut this out on the fold so that I didn't have to sew the top together and I made sure to make this piece here the width of the top leg and so the top leg is going to be angled up higher than the rest and the shoulder is going to be here. Okay, and then I have pinned where I marked I wanted each piece to go and I labeled each piece. This is the third leg down on the left, second left, and so on. Top one right, two right. I have pinned this down so that I can sew over this. I'm actually going to flip it. I'm going to flip it over and repin it so that I can sew it. Now let's see. And I'm actually going to close this when I sew. So I'm going to repin this. I think it would be smarter to sew this first. We'll see what I do. Okay, so what I did here was I base stitched around this and I wasn't really careful to make it super neat just because this is a prototype and this is for myself anyway and that's gonna be on the back where it's never gonna be seen. So I'm not gonna worry about those stitches. So here, I'm going to make sure all these are very straight. Now I did not record sewing this because there was no safe place to put my camera. What with all the flailing legs. I've got legs for days. All right. So here I'm going to make sure all these are nice and straight and I'm going to stitch and then I am going to stitch close to the edge here um, all the way around. Okay, so aesthetically speaking, I already wish that I had stuffed this all the way to here, but the reason I didn't is because I feel like it's going to lay a lot better on the back side of the body across the shoulders without that stuffing, and so that's why I didn't do it. Um, and since this isn't actually attached to the body, I just feel like it's best for it to kind of drape. Stitching, I stitched one quarter inch and then one eighth of an inch away. In the edge and now I need to use some monofilament to create some joints and bend these at the wires to create some joints and to string these together. All right so it's four in the morning October 30th. I don't know if I'm gonna get this up by the 31st. All right. It's the monofilament. Okay. So I have sewn the monofilament two layers here from these two central, what am I saying? From the second to third leg on both sides. And then up here, I've got from this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and then the bottom, just the one, just the one piece on the bottom. And I haven't taken this off the floor yet to see if it works, um, so we'll see. Okay, so yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I sewed this to the table leg. 
So I have to clip that and re -sew that. Okay, so it's 4.30 in the morning. I had to re -sew the filament between the legs that it was further apart. I'm not loving it. It's crumpled in the floor right now. I just thought that looked cool, but still, yeah, I'm not loving it, but it's going to be functional for the video, so that's good, and it's a learning experience, so that's good, but um, if I was going to do it again, I would definitely do things differently, but that's that's the point of doing something the first time. So, but yeah, I mean, I'm 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 happy with them. I think they're gonna look good. They're just not gonna stay in place really well, which is fine because they don't need to because I'm not going anywhere. And they just I don't know. I I'm just tired and rushed, and I don't like to rush things. I like to take my time on things so they can be better.